to be flat. Everybody see how my laces are flat? If I'm on my toes, I give him some of the nicest handles ever. Grab, grab, those, grab both my ankles. If he gets both my feet off the mat right here, I'm in bad shape. All right? Because we, we got to remember, to win a scramble, I got to have step one, more feet in the mat. All right? So, secondly, I go. This shouldn't feel good to you. I feel very unstable being this tall. Okay? When I split the middle, it's butt low, laces flat. Okay? Me, have, me being real high in this position isn't very advantageous. Me having a head up and straight back is advantageous with no anchors. Try to get under my laces. See how I've kind of got him blocked out now? Because this is what I want to do. Right? I want to put him there. All right, and then start working across the body. See how my chest didn't fall? That's one of the biggest mistakes. And I know this is scramble camp, not single leg camp, but this is one of the biggest mistakes you see on these split the middle finishes. We'll do all this work to get here, and then we'll go. Stalemate. And waste 30 seconds here, because he's going to grab my ankles, and I'm going to be on this leg, and I'm going to circle and try to step over, and he's going to go heels to his butt, and then the referee's going to get tired of watching it. Okay, so we've got to understand that this is good position. So again, we know what the high level guy's trying to do, that's what we're trying to combat. So when you post and split, again, I'm focusing on the best position I can get to. Because that's what I want that guy to have to be. Fix it, nope, 